before you go on with this video, I must tell you that this video only shows you how to port forward using a router and a router login. This doesn't show you how to set up a no IP account, nor does it show you how to set up a server. I already made a video on how to set up your server, so you can check it out on my threads, and I will be doing a video on how to set up no IP. Hello Hackforms, it's Secrets again with another video on how to port forward. As you see, I already have Cybergate opened. I'm going to show you I have no listening ports opened, active ports, none whatsoever. Alright, now how to port forward. First you want to go to the start button. In the search text area, type in CMD. It'll take you to the command prompt. Type in IP config. Then you'll want to scroll up. Locate your IPv4 address. As you see, mine is 192.168. Point one point five, and the main, the main important part is point five. That's what you'll be using. So now open up one nine two point one six eight point one point one. I'm already logged in. If I wasn't, it would take me into the login page. All you have to do is enter your username and password, and you should be set. I'm using Netgear. So all I have to do is just scroll down and find in port forwarding, port triggering. Click on that. And make sure port forwarding is clicked. I'm going to delete this since... Alright, now that it's deleted, you want to click on an add custom service. Service name, it will help you if you name everything and keep organized, but it's not really required. So anything can go here service type make sure TCP slash UDP is selected starting port I'm gonna put 55555 five, five, five. and ending port must be the same as above so 55555 five, 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 five. service IP address as you see again 192.168.1 check your CMD again and you'll see point five is the last number that's what I'll be pointing here, point 0.5. Clicking apply. And I should be done. So now to test it, I'll be going back to Cybergate. Control center, options, select listening ports, and add what I just put forwarded. 55555. Five, 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 five. Click on that blue arrow. Save. Now, I'm going to open the folder. Alright, now I'm going to click on the server. And there I go. There I am. There you have it. You successfully port forwarded.